Uh, black light works. Oh, it's warmed up. It's surging. This is quite cool. Just checking this uh, black light tube out for a colleague of mine. It's possibly not working, but I plugged it in and it works straight away. So, standard ballast, a little capacitor there. Only thing I notice is no strain relief on the cord, so that needs to be secured a bit better. And then we're going to do a few test ones. Got some tubes here. One is I think it's the older, older one. I tested it before, as you can see in the intro. That was the surging lamp, and there's a new one in this uh, box here, Sylvania. Okay, we're going to energize the light. I turn the other lights off. And it is glowing nice and purple. This is the current load, 130 milliampere, 27, say 28 watts. Sylvania. Just check the end of the electrode, so I need to nil out the meter first. I do it with one hand, which is quite hard, so it's about nil, nil down here. And then I'll measure, measure across the electrodes here. It's around 5 ohms. That reading is around 5, 6 ohms. Check the other side of course and then, uh, then you know if your tube, your electrodes are still okay. This lamp seems to be working fine. I'll turn it de the light. As you saw in the beginning of the video, the other light had that surging. This is a newer tube as far as I'm aware. So the lamp is uh, working fine. Looking out the hieroglyphics and some of the notes, that's a euro notes, 5, 20, 10, had some of those laying around. Even Fiji got some fancy stuff in there, so these things reflect in the dark. The old dirty American dollars, no reflection in those, horrible things, the old ones. An Australian 20, Australian 5, a note and a 50 I've got here. Turn the normal light back on. Okay. Overall, concept of most fluoro tubes is pretty simple. Power in, capacitor normally. Inductor, that's a choke. Power goes in from the active. Filament one through the starter. It's usually got a small capacitor in and then a bimetallic strip that opens, closes, gives a few pulses. Spike it induction in the coil and then comes to the other heater here so they heat up briefly goes back to the neutral the induction in the choke or ballast itself gives a high voltage spike lamp strikes starter goes open and that's the way the lamp works pretty straightforward these numbers are quite cool the serial numbers are glowing up on the 20 and the little logo in there as well they've got the year of manufacture of the note I guess and that's on the 50, so the digits are quite good. But lamp is working fine, Nigel. So I'm uh, putting the video up and uh, I'll drop it off here at your place, or you can pick it up. A stabilized uh, warm load is about 29 to 30 watts. Okay, we've got a 10, but here we've got a 5, NZ20, NZ50, and NZ100. Really cool, these uh, embedded marks here. Just to complete the series, so the 10 I haven't got here. 